Hey guys, welcome to an interesting video on Wild Rift. So today we're back with the Corky Basic Guide. Now Corky is one of the most unique ADCs in the sense that he is more or less the only true ADC that is actually focused on magic damage. He can be played in the mid lane as well as the ADC role. And he has very strong team fight because of his passive which is the package and he also has very strong poke because of his Q as well as his 6 charges of his ultimate. But the main time you see Corky, especially in the ADC role, is when your team is lacking magic damage because Corky does magic damage. We'll cover that in the skills later on, but he does mix damage uh, in terms of physical and magic damage, but majority is magic damage. So without with all that out of the way, we're going to jump straight into not that but we're gonna jump straight into the practice tool to talk about Corky's skills okay so the first thing I want to explain when it comes to Corky's skills is going to be his passive so if we go over here and check out what his passive is you can see Hextech Shrapnel Attacks deal 11 physical damage, scaling with 20% uh, AD, plus 42 magic damage, scaling with 80% AD. So basically what this means is, if you guys can take a look at the numbers here, 42 is roughly 4 times that of 11 roughly, because it's of course 44 is exactly, but uh, basically what this means is that 80% of Corky's damage uh, in terms of his basic attacks is going to be magic damage and we have 20% being physical damage. When it comes to his Q, it does magic damage. His W, magic damage. E, magic damage and shreds magic defense. His ultimate, magic damage. So basically overall, Corky is sort of like a hybrid between a mage and a marksman and he basically uh, does mainly magic damage. He barely does physical damage. So here if we auto attack this guy, you can see that I do 21 plus 12, 22 plus 12, 23 plus 12, 24 plus 12. And basically, you guys can see that we're doing majority um, AP damage. Now, as of now, we're only doing about double um, the amount of AP than AD. But when you start to buy items, like when you go into the to like building uh, more and more AD, your AP skills up faster than your AD. So by the time you're full build, you're going to be doing 80%, or not even full build, but by the time you have a couple of items, you're going to be doing 80%. A AP and 20% AD with your basic attacks. Of course, all of your skills, all of them, um, you know, give you, um, not give you, but they do AP damage. So his second um, passive is the package. So if you take a look at the package, uh, after four minutes, you have a package in your base. You can pick it up, um, which grants him special delivery, which is an enhanced version of his W. We'll get into that later. It grants 35% movement speed out of combat, and every two and a half minutes, you get a new package. Now, it's going to take uh, four minutes to spawn, and we're currently at about two minutes in into the game, uh, or the into the practice. So uh, we're going to wait for the package to spawn and recover that when it spawns. So next up, we're going to talk about his Q. So his Q is sort of a targeted ability, you can aim it where you want to and what it does is basically, let me just gain all my skills first, basically what it does here is it just hits everybody in the area, it's just an AoE ability that grants vision. So here, uh, if we put another enemy dummy, you can shoot both of them at the same time, like so, so boom, it hits both of them and does the uh, same amount of damage to everybody it hits. So. This gives vision of bushes, so if I head over to a bush here, and if for example I put an enemy dummy inside, and I launch my Q from all the way over here, I can see the enemy in the bush. So a very common usage of your Q is to just toss it in the bush and check if there's anybody in there, um, just for safety purposes of course. So now his W, you can see it's a targeted dash, what it does is of course it's simply a dash, it goes over walls as you guys can see. Uh, goes almost over every wall because it's a very very long dash and in the area um, behind him you can see those three circles they do deal magic damage to people who step over them so for example if we do it over here across the dummies you can see that they're taking eight damage uh, or so you know by standing in the trail so his his e is his Gatling gun. So basically his Gatling gun as you can see here it does damage as well as shreds magic defense so the really strange thing about the Gatling gun is it sort of 
tries to focus wherever Corky is attacking. So if you just activate it like that, it will he will make Corky automatically face the enemies and automatically attack them. So for example, if I'm just standing way over here, uh, you know, it's going to immediately, you guys can see, it's going to immediately target that direction. So here, you guys can see, even though if I'm walking, let's say I'm trying to walk towards this direction, so I'm walking this way, and when I trigger the Gatling Gun, Corky's gonna face the enemy, so this can be a little bit clunky to use at the beginning, but when you get used to it, you'll start realizing, you know, who it's targeting, and you can start to, like, kite around fights, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, start to make use of a Gatling Gun. It, of course, shreds magic defense, and, of course, the closer you are, the more damage it's gonna do. So if you're, like, at the outer cone, it's gonna only do, like, you know, that little bit of damage, but if you're all the way, you know, over here, you know, it's gonna be able to shoot people more effectively because it is, after all, a cone. So, finally, we have his ultimate. His ultimate has six charges, as you guys can see. It's simply... Oh, I hit the wrong ability there. It's simply a long-range skill shot. This is where Corky's poke comes from. It's a long-range skill shot, you guys can see. It hits um, the first enemy struck, but it does do AoE damage around the enemy uh, for, like, basically the same amount. So, you can hit multiple people at one go. And every third... Uh, rocket is going to be an enhanced one which basically does roughly double the damage you can see uh, below Corky's health bar you can see that those orange ones are the normal ones so here I have two orange ones one normal orange one and now I'm at a red one red one is the powerful one like that so finally we have the package you guys can see the packages here you can pick it up from over here or you can pick it up from over here it's basically the same thing when you pick up one the other one will disappear so you stand over for about two seconds you know it disappears what this does is it basically gives you extra movement speed as I mentioned just now and secondly it also uh, gives you this longer range dash and this dash will knock aside anybody and it does an incredibly high amount of damage which is amazing in choke points especially like for example let's say over here if the enemy team is chasing in like if you lay down your package over here you know there, there's no way they can walk towards you because they're gonna get slowed and they're gonna get destroyed by the damage so just to demonstrate what it does plus the knock the, the knock uh, away effect so here you guys can see uh, you know the package just knocks away uh, the enemy uh, dummy like that so I'm gonna remove the dummies and yeah so the package is a very very strong team fight tool but you can only carry it for 30 seconds so remember it spawns after four minutes spawns every two and a half minutes after that uh, after you pick it up and you can only hold it for 30 seconds that's why you normally pick it up uh, you know before objectives so next up I'm gonna talk about Corky's combos in terms of combos, Corky literally only, it doesn't really have a combo combo, like the, the order doesn't matter, but more or less when you're like, you know, when you're attacking someone, you normally start off with either your Q or your ultimate to like poke them down. If you land a couple of abilities, that's probably when you want to go in because you don't really 100 to 0 people. You normally poke them down a little bit. Let's say they're at 3 quarter half health. That's the time you might want to full combo somebody. If you are full comboing somebody, normally what you do is you put on your Gatling Gun, dash forward, auto attack, uh, um, cast your abilities and auto attack in between and, and you know, basically just keep on doing that. The reason why you're dashing in is to get your Gatling Gun, you know, onto to their faces now the alternative to this is if some for some reason you don't actually have to dash forward and let's say you're just poking them out and you know they dash forward to you instead let's say that uh, you know it's a Kaisa who altered in for example and you're now right next to them you can actually just use Gatling Gun and keep on doing your normal abil abilities in the sense that you basically uh, you know um, ulti attack ulti attack and like Q in between that kind of deal and when you either decide that you can take no more damage or you need to run you can just um, you know W your way out of course if you W in you're not gonna have your W up to W out anymore but basically that's kind of Corky's main combo it's just whether you use your W or not it normally starts off with you know your Q and your ultimate and then you use your Gatling gun when you're in range and you when you want to all in for example so finally the last part we're gonna talk a little bit about Corky's tips and tricks so the first tip is checking bushes. Now I've kind of went over this one just now, but there's two ways you can check bushes. Number one, you toss your Q inside to check, you know, if there's anybody in there. And the second way is to use your ultimate. Let me just put a dummy in there to show you guys what it's going to look like. So if I put an enemy dummy inside this bush. Of course, we can't see him when we're outside the bush. But if we cast our ultimate, you can see that we can see that explosion and we know it's hit someone. If it doesn't hit anybody, it's just going to fly like that. No explosion. If it explodes, you know someone is going to be in that bush. Of course, you can also use your Q, but your ultimate is longer range, as you guys can see. So it's normally safer to check with your ultimate. Although if you check with your Q, you can see exactly who is in that bush. So both have their own pros and cons. Uh, but basically, you should be using Corky you know, to check the bush. 
So the second tip I have with, with is concerning the package. So we know that the package um, can only last for 30 seconds. So you normally want to pick up Corky's package right before Dragon spawns. So for example, when Dragon's 20 seconds away from spawning, you want to recall, pick up your package, and rush over to the Dragon. Actually, it's not 30, 30 seconds, sorry, it's 45 seconds. I believe the package lasts for 45 seconds. So you still want to pick it up roughly 20 seconds before Dragon or Herald or Baron or whatever spawns, and you generally only want to pick it up uh, right before a major objective, and you don't really want to pick it up uh, just willy-nilly uh, and just use it in lane, for example. That's a poor use of the package. And Finally, I'm going to talk about your W so that, and as well as your package. So your W, you normally want to hold it. You don't want to use it too aggressively because it's your only mobility and if you don't have it up, you're, you're basically stuck there and the only other way you can get out is to flash out. So normally you want to hold your W. You don't want to use it you know, to dash in every single time. It's, you only want to do that if you're going for a kill. Otherwise, you never really want to do that. And finally, it's talking about your package. So your package is best used in choke points. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Of course, your W is a very like short version of the package. So one of the amazing places to put the package is across the dragon pit. So there's two ways this could be good. Number one is if, the en if your team is doing the dragon and the enemy team is outside, it prevents them from walking into the dragon pit without walking over the package and getting stuck there and taking damage. Number two, if they're in the pit and you're outside, it prevents them from escaping the pit after they do the dragon and it forces them to stay in the pit and take the damage. Second way is to of course just go across. Now this normally happens when, for example, your team is contesting dragon from over here and you just basically package across the dragon. You're going to land somewhere around here and your package, number one, might have a chance of stealing, stealing the dragon, but number two is likely to hit multiple enemies. Now number three is just using it in choke points in general. So for example, over here is a pretty good spot to use the package. Like over here is a pretty big choke point. You can use the package across here. You can use the package across here. Generally, you want to use the package to either use them in choke points to zone enemies away to deal damage to them or even to cut them off. So for example, if for example, I have an enemy dummy over here, I have an enemy dummy over here, and like let's say there's an imminent team fight, they're all rushing toward the dragon and I'm somewhere over here. What I can do is I can package across over here to prevent this guy from reaching the dragon pit because he's going to get zoned off by the package and he's just going to have to wait for the package to come up. And the final way you can use your package is to split the enemy team. So for example, these two people, if I use the package in between them, I'm going to actually end up splitting uh, them up you know, in two. And this will split up the fight and this can sometimes win you a fight if the enemy team is not grouped together. And since the package is back up, I'm actually going to show you guys what I mean. So I'm just, I'm, of course, I can only show you guys once because the package only, you know, comes up like, you know, once every like two and a half minutes. So over here, for example, if I want to split them up, uh, for example, I'm I can just do this. You can see that I push them all apart. And if, for example, we can kill this guy while these two people are stuck in another corner. And as I say all this, that's pretty much it for the tips and tricks of Corky. And I realized that I forgot to go over the leveling order. So let's go over that now. So on level 1, you want to start with Q. Level 2, generally, you take your E unless you need your W to escape. Then you take your W, you max your Q first, take out whenever available. And then, of course, oops, <laughs> exhausted him by accident. And then, of course, you take out whenever available. You, you max your E second and you max your W last. Okay, guys. So that's it for the Corky Basic Guide. Be sure to tune in for the Corky Updated Complete Guide coming out tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching the video and goodbye.